What's up, Mallory? Roman hasn't spoken to you about anything, has he? Nothing about maybe asking me to marry him? I haven't heard anything, but I'm sure it would be a really good thing for both of you. Thanks. And hey, Roman and I decided to be honest with each other last night. He told me about Vlad. He did? Yeah, thanks for helping him get rid of the body. He has such fire in his heart. I guess when he found out about me and Vlad, he couldn't help himself. His love for me took over and he just had to kill him. That's exactly right. He's an old school romantic. See you soon, Mal. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm sorry about your brother. Hey, me and Francis were never exactly close, but he was my brother, and it hurts. Poor bastard. He believed in something once. That's a hell of a lot better than me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck, I'll miss him. How are you? In here? Fine. Time of my life. Goddamn time of my life. What you up for? A lot of Racketeer and armed robbery. A bunch of shit I never did because I was always a well behaved family man who occasionally liked to drink, but nothing more. Of course. Like us all. Like us all. But the thing is, I think I should make some changes in my life. Stop with the drink. Put it down. Stop hanging out with the wrong sort. Can you help me do that? It is a final chance at redemption. Look, whatever you want, I will do my best to help. Good. Give Packy a call. He'll explain what, uh, I need guidance with the most. The areas where I have strayed furthest from the path. See ya. Your brother told me to call you. Jerry wants us to kidnap old man Ancelotti's daughter. Some fake tan, dyed hair, guido-loving slut by the name of Grace. She's selling her tasteful pink felter on autoerotica at the moment. Get online, organize a viewing, and snatch that bitch. When you got her, bring her to a place we got on an alleyway off Sacramento. I can do that. You can do anything, Nico. Don't let her on that you're kidnapping her near her place, so play along with a test drive for a while to get her out of there. It's a real mobbed up area, and they'll come down on you damn heavy. Aren't you going to hell? One of my fucking brothers just got shot, and another one's in the pen. Someone's got to be with my ma. Hope the internet is worth it. I 
Like the way you move, mama. Don't worry, you'll lose your virginity one day. I got a grieving mother to look at. I don't want to worry about you not kidnapping some sweet old bitch like you've been asked to do. Hey, Pack, I had other stuff to do. I'll get on it, all right? I'll speak to you soon. I'm uh, calling about the car. Come to my place on Babbage Drive. You don't sound like the sort of man who'd drive a pink convertible. Well, I, I can't resist the bargain. who calls about the car, the one with the sexy accent. <laughs> you mind if I take a test drive? You can test drive whatever you want. I love riding in cars with you European types. My family's from Italia, you know, somewhere in the south. Why don't you drive towards the south coast? We can enjoy the day. the car? I didn't think a manly guy like you would drive something like this. You got a wife or a girlfriend or something? I'm picking this up for a friend. Yeah? What a gentleman. 
You don't meet guys like you in the city no more. All the good men are gone is what my dad says. Your dad sounds real old school. You and him close? Nah, not really. He's great and all, it's just I don't like his tough guy friends. I only hang out with gay guys, you know? At least they won't try and get in your pants every 10 seconds. Not that I don't like guys trying to get in my pants. I appreciate fun as much as the next girl. Maybe even more than the next girl. You having fun at the moment? Maybe too much fun. Call me Gracie, by the way. Sure thing, Gracie. The paintwork was a real feature on this car. How's it going then, sweetie? All right. But what I'm here for hasn't really started yet. You've been test driving for a while, so I can only guess that you're interested in something other than the car. I am. I'm here to kidnap you, Grace Ancelotti. I don't want to hurt you, so remain fucking calm. Fuck you! I'm dialing my daddy. He's gonna do more than test drive your ass, prick! Try to call him without a phone. My daddy! Only when he pays the fucking ransom. When my daddy hears about this! Daddy ain't here now. Can you drive, fucker? Not when you grab the wheel! Down, the little birdies will be eating your brains off the dashboard tomorrow morning. From the moment I saw you, I knew you were an overcompensator. Making up for your one-inch punch with fast cars and guns. Later, dick face! You're fucking annoying! I'm gonna sick of you, you creep! That makes two of us! Fucking with the wrong girl, asshole. I am Gracie Ancelotti, and I... Shut up! Peace at last. Excuse me! What's the hold on? Well, Rasta. Yo, you wanna go down at the strip club, Mr. Mensch, yeah? No can do, Jacob. I've got a girl with me, and, uh... <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate. But let's speak soon, though, huh? There he is. Stevie, dump the car. I'll take this piece of ass. Guys, the beach better be worth the trouble. The pa's got some serious cash. And he pissed off Gerald. That's reason enough for me. Well, they better pay quick. I hate to think of the fight she'll put up if you try to cut her fingers off. Gordon has the bitch. I'm done with her. Thanks, Nico. My brother will be a happy man. I'll get things in motion. Be in touch.